naturally uh, most of our events focus on on ice training or on ice competition. So for us to be able to have the opportunity to bring our top players into Colorado, into our Olympic Training Center and, and focus on all the off ice training, mental skills, team building, leadership, the medical side and our just our off ice physical training, um, that's, that's a special time for our team to make a lot of progress and a lot of gains and uh, for us to really set the groundwork for the upcoming season. Our culture and on our women's national team is all about commitment, accountability, hard work. Um, you know, we've built this program and we'll continue to build this program on, on those three. Um, we are committed. Uh, it's something, the culture of our program is extremely close to my heart. We dial in every time we're doing anything, hold each other accountable. Um, and it's, it's an elite group to be a part of. And it's a group that I'm proud to be a part of every single day. So at these off-ice camps, we're doing um, basically some pre-season screening here. So finding out what their nutrition plan looks like now and what areas there are for improvement, whether that's pre-post-workout fueling, whether it's meal planning, or kind of overhauling their diet as a whole in order to get them to their peak by the time the season starts. Um, so this cooking class is a great way to get us started talking about meal planning, talking about getting variety in their diet, and just getting them to try some new things. I mean, personally, I kind of get stuck making the same things over and over again, so it's good to expand your horizons a little bit and just make something new and learn little extra techniques. Sometimes we'll go and uh, practice with other sports here, which is amazing. I know we've done fencing, uh, we just did boxing today, and it's just great to do different things and you know see who who's maybe not as good or good in that sport so it's fun <laughs> So the one rule is you have to dribble you can only touch the wheel twice and then you have to dribble um, and then we learned how to dribble it's easier if you throw the ball in front of you and then go onto it